John Stark here with the Towson Sports Network after the men's lacrosse team ranked 14th this week in the U.S. ILA coaches poll. Fell on a cold, bitter night at Navy, 8-7 in triple overtime. In overtime, possession is valuable. And, um, you know, that's obviously throughout the game as well. But in overtime, you got to capitalize, you know, because it's, you know, first goal wins at that point. So it was, you know, both teams were trying to control and then trying to do the right things. Both teams had opportunities um, to score. Uh, we made some stops. They made some stops. You know, we didn't challenge um, on a couple shots that we we probably should have. Fanned on a, a layup. You know, set one high. You know, to, to end the game. And you know, they capitalize on a, a broken play. It's you know the, the pace is going to be what it is in, in overtime. Nobody wants to play flat, fast and careless. You know, you got to be able to possess and work for a good opportunity. Yeah, they're, they're you know rotation um, from inside out in, in their. Um, man down defense, you know, being able to catch them either staying too tight, being able to get the outside shot or coming off too quickly to be able to get one inside. So a couple options within the same play. You know, Coach Gallardi always does a great job um, breaking down the other team's defense, you know, making sure that whatever we have, uh, you know, we're prepared for it and any kind of new stuff is in there. And it was a you know, great play and got us to overtime. Yeah, Tyler was Tyler was sharp. He was a little, I think, a little slow to start, you know, for Himself, you know, I think I don't know if he was uh, moving as quick as he'd like to, but he definitely dialed it in and then got in, got into focus. You know, saved one off his helmet, got a couple of low ones on the crease. You know, just was really seeing the ball as the game went on, and you know, I think the team rallied around it. You know, it's, it's tough and frustrating not to be able to get this one for him and obviously for the team uh, with the way that he played and, and and did. You know, you know, was a big wall for us back then. You guys round out a uh, four-game road swing. Kind of tough to call it road when you're so close to home, but uh, you're at UMBC on Saturday. What are you guys looking forward to in that game? A win. <laughs> Being able to come out and, you know, be able to get this bad taste out of our mouth. You know, we knew we had an opportunity to win this game. Uh, we had an opportunity to, to stretch this game out, you know, at times with, with goals and looks um, that we didn't cash in on. Um, and the Tigers forced overtime with 23 seconds left in regulation on an extra man goal from Ryan Drenner. Andrew Hodgson credited with the assist on that one. Tyler White in goal for the Tigers, finished with 14 saves, including one in overtime, which was a back and forth affair. You can catch the Tigers in their next game, 1 p.m. on Saturday as they take on nearby rival UMBC.